Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this collage out of my old junk mail. Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution Artists at Play, and today I'm doing something a little different. I am doing a collage. What I am showing you here is my little palette with ripped up paper. I'm using Mod Podge, and I'm basically going to be gluing a lot of little pieces of paper together to make a scene. So some of the benefits to this is that if you are someone who gets a lot of junk mail, which I'm sure most of us are, you can not just throw that junk mail away, but you can tear it up and keep the paper aside and make artwork with it. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because this is actually a piece that I plan on drawing later on. Like, this is a great exercise for color study and for value study when you want to work on a piece. So this is something really fun to do in between things if you are wanting to study what colors you're going to be using in a piece or if you just want to make something fun and crafty. I think this probably took me maybe an hour at most to do this. It's an 8 by 10 and it's really easy. You just take pieces of paper and you kind of almost put them together like a puzzle and you just glue them onto the paper. And what I'm using for paper is the Canson acrylic paper, but any kind of mixed media paper or watercolor paper will do. You do kind of want something sturdy that will hold up to all the layers of glue, but this paper works just fine. And you can do this on wood or numerous other materials that are stiffer as well. So as you can see, I'm just putting in a sky and I'm kind of doing a gradient so I'm placing the darker pieces of paper on top and finding lighter blues and whites to put on bottom. And I'm not caring about detail at all in this. This is basically a value and color study. So I'm not worried about detail. I'm not even worried if weird things are showing up in the photos that I tore up. I actually find that to be more interesting. I've actually done this before with black and white paper and that works really well too. I prefer to use photos out of magazines and out of flyers and things like that. I like the glossy look. I like it as opposed to just tearing up things like construction paper because I think it's really interesting all the different tones that you can get in each individual little piece of paper. There's some variances and tones and it just makes it more interesting looking. And one of the things I like about doing this is that it almost looks like an impressionistic painting when it's done or a mosaic. So it's really got this like classic feel to it. I'm not worried about it being realistic. I'm just having fun. And right now I'm just putting in the hills. I have various dark greens that I'm using. If you look closely, you can probably see broccoli in there. <laughs> like I tore up some old flyers. Like after you're done clipping coupons, I think it's great to just use their leftover flyers from the produce section because there's plenty of awesome colors. And when I set up my palette, my palette is just something that's recycled from something that I got at work. It's not an art related thing. It's not something that you can really buy in the store, but you can use any type of container or a regular palette and just place tinfoil over it to keep the pieces of paper in. And what I did was I separated all the colors out into each individual little cup that I had. And I separated darks and lights as well because I wanted to make sure that I had a good range of values in there. And I'm putting in some water, which is pretty much the same colors as the sky. And again, like I said, this is actually a picture. I'm doing this from a photo that I took when my husband and I took a road trip a few weeks ago. And I don't, I can't even remember what town it was in. I actually shot it from my window on the way through in a car, I was in the passenger seat and I was using my cell phone and just snapping some really quick pics and it turned out to be a really cute landscape. So I probably will paint this in acrylic at some point or end up drawing it in colored pencil. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I think that doing this will help me later on when I'm trying to see the values and the colors that I'm looking for when I do actually paint it. I like to call this drawing with paper or painting with paper. It's kind of fun. Actually, my professors refer to this kind of stuff as drawing. I've run into this a couple times in drawing classes in school. And I just thought it would be fun to do a video on. And this is 
is also something that you can do in your sketchbook. It's just hard because I'm using Mod Podge and that can end up being a little bit sticky for a little bit longer. And it, but I love that it has a glossy look. So the reason I didn't do it in my sketchbook is I was afraid that this page would get stuck to the, the page in front of it. So I decided to just do it on Canson acrylic paper. And I'll link the paper and Mod Podge and everything else in the description below, of course. Like I said, you can just use your junk mail to get the pieces of paper. You don't have to really spend a lot of money for this project. And this is something fun that you could do with kids too. Maybe not with such smaller pieces of paper because it is quite messy and you will find yourself vacuuming. I remember when I was tearing out the paper a couple weeks ago to get ready for this video, my cat knocked over my palette and I had to resort all those little pieces of paper and it was a nightmare. So you do want to be careful of that. However, um, it would still be something, a fun exercise to do with kids, I think. And I'm putting a lot of different colors in the foreground. It's kind of hard to see because there's a glare. So it basically, there's a sky, then there's some hills, there's a body of water, there's some darker trees that starts off the foreground. And then in the foreground, there's a lot of different colored greens and yellows because there's flowers in there. And again, I'm not getting bogged down with details. It's mostly just color. So there's pretty much big chunks of color as opposed to tiny, tiny little dots of color, which is what you would normally see in a landscape with flowers. So it's a little bit bulkier, but I really love the look of it. And then sometimes the paper will come up a little bit, so I just put another layer of Mod Podge over it. Mod Podge. I always say that wrong. It's kind of a funny word to say. And you could do this with Elmer's glue or glue sticks. I just happen to have a lot of Mod Podge on hand, and so that's what I did. That's pretty much it for this short video. I hope that you enjoyed. Do you use anything weird to make art with? If so, comment below and let me know what you use. Thanks. Thank you for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more of my content, please hit subscribe. Also, my social media links are in the description below if you would like to follow along on my art journey. Bye.